Fox Sports. Believe it. Panasonic Ideas for Life. Chuck Ma on Fox Sports. Um, so you are. Okay, my name is Jeff Ang. I'm the general secretary of the association. Hi, my name is Rizal, uh, president of the Chuck Association of Singapore. So, can both of you explain to me what Chuck actually is? Uh, okay. Chuball is a handball game uh, where it uses a trampoline-like net uh, whereby players will throw against the net and uh, the ball will uh, rebound against it. Uh, it's a little bit different from a uh, handball whereby you throw the ball into the um, goal post. And the uh, philosophy is very unique. You cannot intercept the ball nor can you have physical contact with the other. I want a few of the unique rules about this game. Okay, um, just like uh, Jeff was mentioning, uh, one of the very unique points of the game is that uh, uh, there is no contact in, uh, and there is no interception. Uh, people who are used to playing ball games uh, will usually uh, intercept just like basketball or even soccer. Uh, but two ball is a game whereby you respect the opponent by allowing the opponent to actually let uh, the flow the game of the game. Uh, and you only intercept uh, after the opponent shot, shoots the ball at the frame. That's why we get this slogan, beautiful play, grace, beautiful play. You let the other, the other opponent play and before they shoot and that's when you catch the ball, you begin your beautiful play. Right, and everything works in three. You have three seconds with the ball, three steps with the ball. Within the team, maximum three passes, you must take a shot at the net. And something unique about shoot ball is that you can attack both sides. You can shoot at both frame addition. That's right. Yeah, so that, that, that makes uh, the game uh, move very, very fast, uh, very intense. And also, um, every uh, defender is also an attacker and vice versa. So the role changes very, very quickly. Uh, I would say that's, that's really uh, 2006, I managed to get a Taiwanese uh, official to come down to conduct a coaching course. And that's where I met a few dedicated people. Uh, Jeff is one of them. And uh, together, we came together to set up the Chuba Association of Singapore. That's right. You should hear some of the story of a very dedicated result. In O2, he was lugging the Chuba frame, two of it up and down NUS to look for players to introduce the sport to. Yeah. How did it turn out for you? Uh, it was tough because, uh, you know, as usual, uh, Chuba is a new game and I am, I am already playing basketball, I am already playing soccer and so on and so forth. So it was very difficult for people to actually try the game. It doesn't help that uh, I was not very uh, exposed to uh, an open group of people playing, uh, you know, multi sports. Uh, this was uh, what Jeff was talking about with my classmates uh, in NUS, and so it was really a bit uh, tough to actually introduce the game to them. Yeah. Throughout the years from 2000 to now, how far do you think the game has progressed? Uh, well, really, really tremendously. Uh, from the numbers, to the level of play, uh, to the exposure that we have, uh, and even to the expertise, uh, it's increased really, really uh, tremendously. Especially in the last three years, uh, it has really gone my lips and mouth. Uh, last year, we took part in the World Games. Uh, to qualify in the World Games is really, already a very big thing. And, uh, not really um, expecting much, but we managed to get a bronze medal um, and really, really shocked the football world uh, from European countries. Uh, and everything that uh, played against us were actually very surprised at how fast we progressed. Uh, basically, for World Game, the top six teams goes into the world. I, I, I would say it, it, it cannot go on without a team. Uh, we do have a dedicated team of people who's behind all the success. Uh, from coaches to committee members to referees, uh, officials, even the players themselves. Uh, they have put in a lot of hours of training, a lot of dedication. Um, without them, without all these people, uh, um, uh, just two of us alone, nothing can move. I think the sacrifices has been worth it. Well, it's 
been wonderful. It's a very refreshing spot, very different. A spot where the value of sportsmanship and fair play stands out. So I've thoroughly enjoyed it myself, yeah. Well, um, from a player and then to a coach, you know, I learned different aspects of the game. Uh, and it's really, really nice uh, to see uh, you imparting the skills and, uh, you know, the young taking over uh, you in, in terms of uh, playing hard and uh, training hard for the game. So, uh, it has been a really, really enriching experience uh, this, this few years and uh, I really do enjoy uh, in trying, uh, imparting the game to the uh, younger generation. You just have to try it. Uh, sometimes looking at the game, it may look boring. Uh, usually, just after one shot at the frame, you want to play it again and again. And this has been uh, proven time and again when I introduced the game to a brand new group of people who have, have not played the game before. I echo our results, uh, Bill. Essentially, we, uh, basically we don't need to say too much, but just come and introduce yourself and uh, which school you're from and what role you're playing in your sport. Uh, I'm Joshua from ACS International. I'm the captain and I play as the FP. Okay, so first question would be, um, can you explain to us what chook ball is? Chook ball is a ball game where you can score both sides. There are no interceptions. Uh, you have to kneel down to catch the ball because good players will shoot the ball low. Yeah, it's very interesting. And how different is this sport from the other sports like say basketball and soccer? In basketball, they are like, uh, you both have our own sides, but in here, you can really use the whole court to score, and it's really a quite tiring game. <laughs> um, okay, so just for the last question, right? Just could you like tell us something that, like, say something to encourage other people to to join this sport? Why is this sport so special to you? Uh, this sport is uh, anyone can play. It's it's really easy and it's it's really fun to learn. Yeah, and it's. Uh, relatively more injury free rather than rugby is really fun. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Your school and the position you play in your um, I'm Arno Hu from Hua Chong Institution and I'm playing uh, forward pivot in Chukball. Um, Chukball is uh, actually a sport where players have to shoot the ball against a trampoline at an inclined angle and the opponent has to catch the rebound to save the point. There are seven positions, um, two, two uh, right wings, two left wings, one centre pivot and two forward pivot. Hi, I'm Deji from ACS International, captain of ACS International team. Okay. So, in your two years of playing football, what, what, what do you feel about it? Uh, I think football is a really fun sport. It's a mixture of many other sports. Uh, but it's played among seven aside. And it's a girls team. Well, I'm on a girls team. So, uh, it's where there's... It's different from sports as you do not get to intercept balls or defend and defend any balls in terms of man-to-man. -man. Yeah. And so, what do you like about it? Oh, uh, what I like about sport is that it really bonds the team really well together because it's really a sport that really needs a lot of teamwork. Um, this sport is also a very fun spot to play with your friends, recreationally or competition-wise. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what do you think people want to join this sport? Uh, this sport is physically not tiring, but actually men very mentally, mentally challenging. So it will be quite a sport for players who want to think a lot. Shoot ball at box sports. Catch Chuba on Box Sports. Box Sports. Believe it.